the holder of travel. In any city or town in any country, hail a taxi cab. Wait for the driver to ask you where you want to go, and ask him to take you to the holder of travel. If the driver doesn't ask you where you want to go, don't bother. The driver doesn't know what you're talking about. If you are successful, the driver will start the car. It is strongly recommended that you put on your seatbelt at this point, as the driver is in a hurry and will drive impossibly fast. Do not look out of the window. Everything is hurtling by so fast that the very sight would tear your eyes out. After a while, it could be a few hours, could be a few days, the driver will suddenly stop the car. Although the car was travelling very fast, it will stop smoothly. You may now look out the window. You will be in a seemingly normal city. Get out of the cab and approach the window of the driver and he will ask you to pay him. The amount depends on how long you have been in the car for. Pray that he asks you for an amount in your possession. The drivers in this city do not take kindly to fair dodgers. Once you have paid the man, he will point to a small office across the street. Approach it and knock thrice on the door. What you hear next determines your fate. If a shrill-voiced old woman asks you to enter, do so. If, however, she asks you to wait, you may be fortunate enough to die through the horrific torture that awaits you, though it is unlikely that you will, as they are very good at their job. Once inside the building, approach the front desk and tell the receptionist your name and that you wish to speak with the chairman. She will tell you that the meeting is about to start and you are expected on the third floor. Get into the elevator and travel to the third floor. Once there, go into the room straight across from the elevator. You will be in a large board room. There will be a meeting in progress. There will be ten people gathered around a large table. They will be discussing something in a language you won't understand. Put up your hand and wait. The man at the head of the table will acknowledge you with a smile and a nod. Ask him only one question, lest you are slowly and painfully consumed by everyone in the room. How do they travel? The man will answer your question in detail. Make sure you listen intently. He doesn't like rudeness. At the end of his speech, he will walk over to you and shake your hand. You will feel something hard being pressed into your hand. After he has pulled his hand away, you will black out. You will awake in the last place you fell asleep. The lug nut you now possess is object 561. Any wheel you fasten it to will never go flat. <laughs>